Keyboard mode panel functions. Set end step. Press shift plus set end. If the desired end step is on a different page, press shift plus page button 1 to 8, 9 to 16, 17 to 24, or 25 to 32. To specify the last step in the current pattern, press shift plus step button 1 to 8. If the new end step is after the previous end step, the notes are filled as follows. If the steps after the previous end step have never been edited and stored in memory, or if the pattern was initialized, then all steps get the default note value minus one volt and gate length 50%. If the steps were previously edited, then they are restored. Hi, welcome to Analog Output. This time I'm talking about sequencers. I have two digital sequencers, one built into the Mother 32 synth and one in the Keystep controller. They're both nice. They have lots of features, but there's a drawback, which is that they can be somewhat complex to use. I find myself keeping the manual open in my lap when I try to use the Mother 32 sequencer because there are buttons and LEDs that do different things in different situations and you sometimes have to press two or even three buttons at the same time to get it to do what you want and it's really not that intuitive and by contrast an old school analog sequencer is is, is dead simple to use there's you, you dial in some notes on the knobs and you feed it a clock signal and that's about it and besides you know i have a weakness for knobs and switches i like these things so i decided to build a kind of a hybrid um, an arduino controlled analog sequencer it's based on a design by sam battle of look mum no computer i made some changes to his hardware design and uh, redid the software correspondingly i'll put links to uh, the lmnc video and my github repository which has the modified schematic and software down there in the description now usually when you build a module the front panel is the last thing you deal with but most of the circuitry here is actually mounted on the panel so i started with that by my count there were 67 holes to be drilled uh, eight big ones using a hole saw and 59 smaller ones with a drill press and a step drill i got a little over enthusiastic and i started to drill a 68th hole i've already shown in another video how i made the panel pretty by attaching printed paper and clear plastic to the front surface and that not only gave me nice labels but it covered up the extra hole here's the strip board which is pretty simple basically there's nothing here but an arduino a five volt regulator the power connection components and four diodes hidden under the arduino everything else is behind the panel there's lots of resistors soldered to the panel components you can see 11 of them attached to the rotary switch alone Likewise, there's a bunch of diodes and then lots of wires connecting the components to each other and to the Arduino. And then the strip board is mounted to a piece of bent sheet metal, which has a couple notches in it, uh, letting it to be captured under two of the potentiometers to mount it to the panel. And that's the hardware. Once that was all together, I just had to load up the software and debug it. And I was done. Okay, let's walk through some of the features of this sequencer, focusing mostly on the stuff that's different from the original LMNC version. So you've got two control voltage outputs, top row of knobs controls first one, second row knobs controls the second one. I'm using the first to control the pitch of an oscillator, second one uh, I actually have all the knobs turned all the way up and this output is actually being used as if it were a gate using this to uh, to trigger a, an envelope generator which then controls the ADSR. So if we put a clock into the forward 
jack, we get our sequence. And you know, we can play around with the, the notes if we want to. And so on. Typical stuff. If I were to plug this clock into the backward input, you can see it's running the sequence backwards. But there's also this reverse time switch, which if I flip it, what it does is it exchanges the roll of the backward and forward gates. So start running the sequence backwards and forward again and backward again. So flip it backward and forward manually. Can also step through the sequence forward manually using that toggle switch or backward. And wherever you are in the sequence, you can send it back to step zero with a reset switch. And then go forward. You can also send all the control voltages to zero and all the gates to zero using the zero switch. Now that's in the original LMNC sequencer. And there's also a reset gate in the original. For some reason, there isn't a, a zero gate in the original. So I added that. Also, we added this row of switches here, which turns off a gate uh, or a step. What happens is when it hits that step, it doesn't make a gate and it doesn't, it, it sends zero volts to both of the control voltage outputs. So if I'm running a sequence here, I neglected to mention, you can probably hear on the first step, I'm using a gate to trigger a, uh, a drum module. If I turn off this switch, it doesn't make a gate here, so the drum module is not triggered. It also doesn't send a voltage to the second control voltage out, so it doesn't trigger the envelope generator, so we get nothing out of the VCA, so it makes a gap in the sequence. And we can, you know, put all the gaps in there that we like. We also have the arcade buttons that let you play the sequence notes like a keyboard. And then the one other thing that's different from the original is this rotary switch over here, which has 12 positions and the first seven are labeled two through eight. I've got it on the eight position now. So I get an eight step sequence. If I turn it down to seven, it only uses the first seven. Here's six. Here's five, four, three, two. You're not allowed to have a one-step sequence. I mean, all right, that's just silly. And this works in backwards mode. Okay, and then the last four switch positions, one's, first one's inclusive, and that gives you a pattern of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then there's the exclusive, which is similar, but it gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't repeat the one and the eight at the two ends. Next position is double, which gives you two steps, two gates at each uh, of the positions. 
and the final one is called Rand, and that just randomly picks this step to put out. And the double also works in backward mode. In fact, all of the patterns work in backward mode, but the random and inclusive and exclusive pretty much sound the same whether you run them forwards or backwards, so it doesn't make much difference, but uh, the double does work nicely backwards. So there you go. That's it, the 8-step keyboard sequencer. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, there's the old, you know, like and subscribe buttons down there. Hit those and stay tuned. Got more coming up soon here on Analog Output.